All right. I hope everybody can see me and please do feel free to unmute yourself if I've done something wrong. But we are now live streaming on um, Facebook and a group that you can access very easily is Wave Watch Frequency Fanatics. And we wanted to actually kind of make it a little bit longer name because it sticks out a little bit more. And the um, uh, Wave Watch obviously is our key code and then frequencies. We're all about frequencies. So today I have something that's kind of exciting, I think, lots of information for you. And what we want to be talking to that, about today is how you can wait, use the Wave Watch for viruses. So of course that's so applicable in our lives today, but I was actually pretty impressed with the Wave Watch when I started working this up with you. I felt like I was typing you know, several hundred uh, frequencies, really not quite that many, but I just wanted to show you some different applications and things that you can do with the Wave Watch because we're in the middle of winter. We have colds and flu, we have viruses, we have all kinds of things going on. So I hope you've been able to uh, grab your little booklet if you need it so that you can look, but I tried to put everything on the screen this time. So maybe it'll be just a little bit better. And of course my screen won't move. We'll go on to the next one. There we go. Now, jump twice. So if you know about the Wave Watch already, I think most of you probably do, but the Wave Watch is fairly easy to use. It's just one larger tool that you wear on your wrist, and I do call it a watch. Uh, it's patent pending. It has 850 acoustical frequency sets, uh, and some of you are very familiar with those already. Uh, you're just simply going to wear it for the set time period. It's all coded in for you. You don't have to be messing with everything. Of course, I got the names, the name Wave Watch from Waves and Vibrations. That's what we use when we talk about sound and vibrations. They are measured in wave files. So we have wave files on the Wave Watch. Easy to remember, isn't it? And then it's easy to experience. These are resonant frequencies and they create precise oscillations, just movement up and down to harmonize your body gently and quietly without disrupting your day. So again, three sets, three easy steps. Get it, wear it, experience it. And then this is a disclaimer. Now we are going to be talking about names. It sounds like Linda, a Linda, there's somebody that's not muted and there's yeah. a lot of people. Okay. Would everybody please mute you when you come on? Thank you. Thanks, Linda. Please mute when you come on. I tried to mute everybody. It says mute, but. So anyway, the, the main idea on this is that we are gonna be talking and using words that sound a little bit medical sometimes, but we have to be able to explain them. If you can imagine when I was first trying to develop the Wave Watch, I took it to a place actually here in Independence that was highly recommended from everywhere in the US. Please mute when you come on. And so when uh, I took it there, they told me they could develop it for a million dollars, but unfortunately they would only be able to use four letters to describe the frequency that I was wanting to use. Obviously that wouldn't work. So we are really using words of what we can recognize. They may sound medical, but they are only to be, again, on the disclaimer, it used to just it's wording for commonly used names of diseases only in relation to the sound frequency. We're not making a diagnosis. This is a self-care tool. So that's the whole idea about that is that you are uh, looking at your own body and your feelings and trying to decide what you could do. So we're talking about uh, viruses today. And I think this is the best quote ever. And I need to get it memorized. Uh, sometimes I can get part of it, but it is so neat. We are using resonant frequencies, which mean it is the same vibration as a virus. So they have all kinds of tools. They've been measuring uh, all kinds of uh, frequencies for over a hundred years. And they try to copy the frequency of the real uh, problem like viruses. So that's resonant. It means it's the same frequency. And mm. these frequencies when they go into your body 
will interact if that same frequency is in there. People so still need to have a frequency in there. It's just going to go right through your body. But if you have a matching frequency, a resonant frequency, those two frequencies will meet and interact. And how it specifically works on a virus is that that particle, those two frequencies, the one we've made on the Wave Watch and the one that's in your body start to amplify. They self-amplify and they just go faster and faster and faster until it's a fatality and it inactivates. So where did I get this wording? I think it's kind of interesting. Don't forget the resonant vibrations will cause the energy of the virus to fatally self-amplify and inactivate. And you may have even heard some of that wording on like a bridge. They say bridges fall down because of resonant frequencies, vibration. So uh, Dr. Okay, try to mute when you come on. Is everything okay and everybody can hear me? about what's best for I need certain songs to warm up and others to stretch Please the Please mute when you come on. Oh gosh. I'm trying to get everybody muted. There we go. I'll click another screen see if that'll help. Okay, so um, we have the, the, the phrase that I just used came from Dr. Samuel Chong and he is from China based and gives us a lot of good information He's a physicist with vast experience in auto, audio engineering, sound design, and musicology. So he actually developed and measured the wave files that I'm actually using on the wave watch. So that is very interesting. And that was his statement that I just told you about. I thought he just described it so uh, very succinctly that it will cause viruses to self-amplify and mutilate themselves and die. So um, very interesting idea for us to know. So if you don't have a virus that we're trying that the Wave Watch is playing, it's just going to go right through your body. It's not going to bother you. Here's another idea that he says, resonance is the key. Scientific evidence supports the application of resonance in breaking chemical bonds and inactivation of chromosome DNA and RNA molecules. So how do you like that? Here, all of a sudden, we have RNA and DNA molecules that can break up. Chemical bonds can break up just from frequencies. But that's another one of his quotes. I think that is very interesting for us to remember. Another idea that he supplied, virus particles or virions are quantum in entity. A little bit bigger words here for me, but anyway. As such, they display waves, particle, duality, and obey the laws of quantum mechanics. So, hey, that's easy. These virus particles have such a resonant frequency. We consider them quantum mechanics. So it's part of the quantum spectrum. It's kind of exciting, doesn't it, when we learn about that. So a little bit more about him can be find, found on my website. I've had this posted for a whole year. And so these are two articles that he wrote. And it actually, if you're interested, it actually does have those frequencies that I was able to put on the wave watch. So uh, very, very interesting information. I hope you have time to look it up if that's of interest for you. So let's get down to brass tacks here. When you have something going on, my suggestion is to go to the virus folder, which is in germs. Start with viruses. Now, the one at the very top is a combo. It says coronavirus combo. And anytime you see combo on the Wave Watch somewhere, it's basically a combination of frequency sets listed below the original sets. So all of these sets normally play for about eight minutes. And then when you press the double arrows to play all the frequencies, it will actually play them two times. So what I've done is take six or seven ideas to equal an hour and five minutes, I think is what the coronavirus combo is. And I put those all together. So if you were actually to listen to that coronavirus combo about every eight minutes, you'd hear it change frequencies. You'd hear the sound change. It's a different song playing. And so I've just tried to make it easier for you. But I've also improved your chances of getting rid of something because we play it in the combo 
And then she's got the double arrows on the lower left corner. And hopefully you know what I'm talking about now when you set the watch. Then you'll play those all another time. And then it will continue to play through the uh, 31 virus frequencies. Now, how do you know which virus frequencies to play? Well, that's a big one, but I've already explained to you, if you are playing a frequency and that same frequency actually is in your body, they will interact. If it's not in your body, it's going to move on through. So it's not going to hurt you to play all of those frequencies. We still need people to mute. I'm tr I've tried to mute, mute, mute. I've clicked that screen so many times, mute all, mute all. So please mute yourself. Thanks. So um, basically when you are playing through all of those 31 frequency sets, you, you're not gonna have all those viruses, but believe it or not, when I check people with a, a tool I use called an MSA or a BioMeridian, people have a lot of frequencies in their system. And a lot, excuse me, they have a lot of viruses in their system. I think my worst example ever, ever was a lady that had fibromyalgia and my MSA system actually thought that she might have about 56 different viruses. So that was really kind of interesting. And of course that system does use frequencies. It uses resonant frequencies. So we did have some improvement when we cleaned her body out of viruses. So again, don't be afraid to uh, work with all of those viruses. You're covering your bases. So on the next screen, when it gets here, um, these are some settings that are on there. I've been talking about the 31 settings. There are some different uh, systems in different settings. And again, I've tried to explain those all. Um, seriously, uh, I would play the coronavirus combo first. Uh, another one would be the viral um, immune complex, which is very, very important. And the idea behind that one is that every pathogen runs in a band. They know that viruses run in a certain frequency band, parasites run in another frequency band, bacteria are in another band. So that's kind of a generic type viral immune complex. And that would give you a little bit better chance of covering all the bases in that band to you know, kill, or I can't say the word, I shouldn't be saying the word killing, but self-amplify uh, viruses. I can't, again, I can't make a medical statement, but certainly we have lots of testimonies and exciting things happening with uh, scientifically backing this up. So make sure that you play the viral immune complex, which is the very end one. So uh, that is a very good one. Now we'll get back to the top. There's coronavirus combo and viral immune support. So that's the next one that I wanted to share with you. Uh, our bodies do really not know whether a vibration that they're feeling is from a chemical or a natural wave. So one of the things that Dr. Dr. Chong said was that um, he could measure uh, our pharmaceutical drugs, he could measure prescription drugs, and that of course he could tell their frequency. And we could be using those frequencies also. And so then by the same token, we can use frequencies for vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, and iodine. So that is what is, is in viral immune support. So I'm not claiming that it's gonna do anything, but a lot of times we forget to take our vitamin C and vitamin D, don't we? You know. So you have another way, something else that you can do to protect yourself. You know, Especially if somebody's wow. sick, they may not be able to swallow. So it's a good thing for them to run that viral immune support set. And I you know, took it out of alphabetical order and put it right up at the top. So the two most important ones that I think are on that set are basically from the coronavirus combo because it does repeat itself and then the viral immune support and it is also included in the combo so don't forget that's how the she's, combo works she said there's one called a viral immune you can go on it and get your vitamins c d okay, whatever mute. there you go mute wow. all right Okay, so another one. Is it one, new or she just put it on? I don't know. No, it's on there. Uh, can you mute yourself? 
I'm, I've got it clicked where everybody's supposed to mute, or, and it should mute people. I don't know why it's not muting people. There we I'm go. I'm going to work on these books. Um, you go ahead and listen to that. I'm going to work on the ones in here. I, can I, do. All right. I, don't think, I don't think they understand about muting. Mute your screen so that we can hear Linda and not all the background noise. Thank you. Find the mute button. Find the mute button on your screen and hit the mute button. And I Robert. even have a, a mute button too. And it's muting them, but somehow. <laughs> All right. So we'll try that again. So uh, appreciate that. Sorry, it's a little bit uh, broken up here. So another really important screen, when you think about it, uh, the viral immune uh, and the viral screen, the uh, coronavirus combo, all of those 31 ideas, they may not do the trick. Normally they do, but maybe your cold is a little bit more bacterial. So you could go to another folder and this would be um, basically uh, in seniors is where I found a lot of colds and flu. There's also cold and flu program in self-care, but I just wanted to show you these. So you got a cold or flu, you got something going on, you don't know what it is. So try several ideas. It's just like we have learned to do by um, basically, um, you know, taking different drugs, quote unquote, but that doesn't mean that it's doing that, you know, not doing everything, but our different drugs, um, why would we want to do that when we have a wave watch that we can try different things on? It makes it so much easier. So you're just using a little bit of common sense and you're playing cold and flu. Let me see if I'm, please mute yourself with you when you come on. Okay, so we have a whole list of um, colds and flu combo, cold head and chest, cold and flu, and some of them are spelled just a little bit differently. So they are a different frequency set. Now, once in a while, you'll ask me, well, how many frequencies are in there? In these particular ones, there's probably about 30 frequencies per set. And there were enough frequencies that I made another uh, folder and designated it with just a little bit different variation of a name or maybe even putting an S versus colds or cold and flu. But this way you're covered in several different manners. Now I got these frequencies. I'm not, I'm really glad to share it with the world basically. They have been measuring frequencies like I mentioned earlier for over a hundred years. And so uh, there are books out there. There are, I've used a, a piece of equipment for over 15 years, the MSA that uses frequencies. So this is not an uncommon thing. The wave watch is just a different application in a musical realm or in a song idea or in acoustical frequencies. I'm saying the same thing in different ways. So you may know of other uses of sound. Obviously we have ultrasound and a sonogram and all these kind of things. Um, even our lithotripsy is ultrasound. So the medical community uses sound in a lot of ways. This one is just a little bit more finite, a little bit smaller, it's acoustical frequencies. And I've always thought that frequencies from sound are the most valuable. Sound is the, to me, it's the main sense when we are in our mother's womb, sound is the, and you know, sound is the first sense that we really recognize. And so they say that, you know, as we grow in our mother's womb with that skin, you know, stretching over her abdomen, our abdomen, is really reverberating like a drum. So at, when we're you know, in the womb, we are hearing lots and lots of sound. Sure. So I think that's so important. I hope that's a simplistic way to uh, mention that. Linda. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'm still talking. So we'll, we'll, um, we'll do that towards the end. We'll have a question and answer session. Phil, need, Phil, Phil needs to mute his phone. He's, he's, he's not muted. I'm wow. seeing him on the group. Phil, Phil Steck, mute your phone, please. Right now. 
Okay, so uh, basically, the next slide that I wanted to show you. Call from Debbie Kinison. Next slide is coming up now. We also have can have several other things that we can think about. When we have a cold or flu. And so you can see on the screen it's saying um, lungs. So you've got it right on your wrist. You wake up in the middle of the night from three to five. And I explained that on a webinar last week that if you look at your Chinese body clock that your lungs are the most important. They're kind of taking over your body from three to five. So that's normally when you're really gonna notice some lung problems. So really, if you've got your ability, the light comes on on your wave watch and you're just going to switch over to lungs. And actually that's what I did this morning. I woke up kind of uh, short of breath and coughing a little bit. So I played the uh, folder for lungs. I started at the top one and just went through it. Now. I'm not really for sure what to say next. The, this slide and some of the final ones are very um, interesting because of some new information that I've heard. I don't know how many of you have heard Dr. Jane Ruby, and I just saw a video of her where she was uh, interviewing a mortician, or a, <laughs> I hope that's the right word, and, um, Basically, they are finding lots and lots of disturbing blood clots in people when uh, after they are embalm or when they are embalming them. And if I got the idea correct, when they embalm somebody, they have to pull those blood clots out in order to work with them. And so just in the last year, they're seeing more and more blood clots that are very disturbing. So it's a very fascinating but gruesome video, if you'd like to look that up, Dr. Jane Ruby. And they actually showed a picture of a lady's leg or somebody's leg that they took a quote unquote blood clot out of and it was the length of the whole leg. So about half of the blood clot quote that they took out, it looked like a rope and the bottom half of it was actually white and it was more fibrin or fibrous, very, very disturbing. And the mortician explained that when he normally would work with a blood clot, that it would be, you know, you could squish it and it would just kind of dissolve. So now he has blood clots that he's pulled out that are three feet long, and at least half of them is a fibrous connective tissue type something. He doesn't know what it is yet. That's just how he's describing it and it does not dissolve, it's actually kind of elastic. And then he has a couple more pictures of people that he's taken blood clots out of uh, the legs and they might be shorter, but they might have 20 blood clots that he's had to pull out. And again, this is part of their embalming process. So I'm saying that some of the new things that I'm putting on the screen, when we have anything going on or maybe something that we should just add to our protection mode this winter would be to play the lungs. There's all kinds of things. I don't know that I have something that would break up a uh, fibrous tissue. You know, this is something new. I developed the Wave Watch last year. So I don't know if I can find any information on that, but do make sure that if you're around somebody, um, I think I'm not going to say too much, but if you're around somebody or you're worried about some of these viruses, uh, you do want to make sure that you play the lungs. Then the next one that you want to make sure that you play is veins. So you'll go to pain and you'll play the vein ideas. Again, I don't know if anything would work, but we at least do have something on the wash that you could use to try to protect yourself. And I know from talking to some of you individually that a lot of us are so worried about some members of our family. And again, I'm speaking very carefully and everybody's made different uh, decisions in their lives. And so um, some people might really be uh, open to playing some protective ideas and some people might not be. But if they are finding, according to the mortician, 
in people that they are working with now, they're finding these unusual blood clots that are not blood clots looking anymore. They're calling them a fibrin or a, you know, a white elastic type thing that's in people's bodies. And they're finding it in about 80% of the people now that they are embalming. So this gentleman reached out to other embalmers or morticians and was finding the same thing around the US. So to me, it would make sense that everybody ought to be playing some ideas with veins once in a while. And the same idea continues that we're not saying it's right or wrong. It's not a medical diagnosis. I don't have any proof that it helps. We're just saying, hey, this is a prevention idea, just like aspirin would be a prevention idea. So you might also want to look up, um, I looked up bromelain, you know, help with veins. Um, there's um, Cyruta Plus is another particular product from Standard Process. And some of you will know some other ideas on working with veins or opening up your veins. But again, you might not know what I'm talking about until you go to Dr. Jane Ruby. And so I I'm not uh, didn't want to play too much of that, but just let you know that we have a product that at least has something, it's on your wrist, it's ready to go, just touch it and play the vein ideas once in a while if you are concerned about uh, you know, where you've been or who you've been around, any problems that you might have in your body. Now, third idea, of course, is cough and lingering. And I also, I've already put up the lung one, but we do know that you know, we've got lots of things in our, our lungs. You know, people are having trouble with that. So play those uh, folders also once in a while. And that's what I played this morning. I played the lungs. And then when that went through, I played cough in uh, uh, those. And I did muscle tests and kind of narrowed it down. I played cough just a little bit more than the others. But that worked for me. My voice is still just a little bit shaky. But uh, I was pretty, I was coughing quite a bit this morning. Then another one that's very important, of course, we've all heard all this information about pericarditis, um, myocarditis, I can't talk either. Uh, so anyway, with our heart, uh, we have all of these folders that you can play too. So why would you not go to that particular folder, heart? You're just gonna go to organs, you're gonna go to uh, heart and play those. Again, we're not saying any of them are going to do anything. We're not seeing that, saying that this is a medical diagnosis. We're just saying this is what we could share, and it would seem to be very helpful or could be very helpful. Now, I have had a couple of angina testimonies. I've had an AFib testimony. Um, you know, I've had, I don't know that I've had a pericarditis uh, testimony, but um, lots of things could be helpful when we are thinking about the new problem that the morticians are seeing in our bodies. Very, very important and actually very, very scary. Now kind of finishing this up and then we'll be able to talk just a little bit, but um, seniors folder has a couple of ideas that might be helpful during this winter too. So there's a folder for an anosmia, which is our sense of smell, and hyposmia, which is a smell partial. It's a little bit different coding for it. And then taste disorders. So I've had a couple of people tell me that, you know, after they had uh, COVID, that that really helped to take care of it. And then somebody else might say it didn't do a thing, you know. So it's not going to hurt you. It doesn't cost you a thing. You already own the watch. It just is a little bit of your time. So that's another idea that you could play when you are working with colds and flu or anything going on with your body this winter. Now, one of the most important ones, we'll keep moving on here, is basically information about emotions. Emotions are so huge. I could have probably put up six screens on this, but under, under the Bach remedies, under the Bach remedies, there are a lot of emotions with uh, fear and you could kind of look those up. So um, basically there's fear of losing control, fear of worries, frozen fear, terror, hopelessness, pessimism, lack of energy, fatigue, 
all of those are very, very important. Those are just emotional remedies. Now, I do have a little bit different coding for the remedies, the Bach remedies and the emotions. There's usually just one frequency where some of the other sets have 30 frequencies and they make a distinct sound and a, you know, some of them will even keep a beat. I'm just really surprised on some of those sounds. But when you come to the emotional frequencies, they are just very, very low and you, it's usually just one frequency and it's very hard to hear. So it doesn't mean that you need to just, you know, turn your uh, screen up, excuse me, it doesn't mean you need to turn your sound up because you're over vibrating the speaker. You want to keep your speaker sound level set at about number four. If you set it on 10 to 12 or you know all the way up, you are just over vibrating that speaker and actually changing some of the sounds just a little bit. So try to remember that you don't need to hear it. You keep the vibration low, even on the emotional remedies. And then some more emotional remedies. And I just picked out a couple because everybody's going to be in a different situation if they've got a bad cold or flu or cough or uh, virus, uh, whatever we want to tag it at as. But anxiety, brain concentration, brain energize, emotional balance, mental clarity. Those could be some that you could do and you could set those to um, loop as you wanted or just make a, a favorites list if that's of interest to you and put those all together. So just a tiny bit about the favorites list. Don't forget that all you do is open up the frequency set that you're interested in. And when uh, the screen is set, so you know how many minutes it's playing, you just click the heart button right on that screen. It's on the lower corner or the lower middle area. You just click the heart button. And when there's a check there, then it's put it into your favorites list. So it's not really that big of a deal. Very easy to do. So please select emotions. We're having a rough <laughs> two years as it is. Play these emotions over and over, especially if you think that you are uh, noticing, you know, you're like me, maybe awake at night. Maybe I uh, uh, need to play some emotions too. I've just been playing lungs, but you know, hey, I could probably play some emotions also. So don't forget, to play some of these emotions. I've got 85 different ones there. Waiting for my next screen to come up. Seems extremely slow here. All right, so I think this is one of the last ones I have, but of course we can go to chronic. It's the very first icon and you can play immune system. So um, it looks like I forgot one on here. I'm already embarrassed, um, but we're going to play fatigue, general body support, immune complex diseases. It goes on down the line. The very last one that I forgot was the vagus nerve. And that one is very, very important. I see I didn't get it typed on the screen, but uh, I forgot a couple more. There's one for pain, one for sepsis, systemic support, and vagus nerve. But you got the idea there. If you'll play the immune system, that would be a very good one during this winter. In your, if you have any concern about colds or flu or viruses, uh, any of those kind of things. So the vagus nerve is a favorite, actually, and so it's a very low sounding frequency. Also, you won't. It's not going to blast you for any means, and it's just one frequency set. So you're going to be uh, playing that one a lot also. It's one that I really do like. So an overall one that uh, regulates your pituitary, your pineal gland, your uh, thyroid. It's, it's just like a silvery cord that goes all the way from the top of your head down through your uh, digestive system. So the vagus nerve is a, a very good one. So I think I've stopped. I've got enough information out and I realized too that I didn't put bacteria in there. Obviously, you could be playing bacteria and parasites, a lot of different things. Sometimes we think we have a cold or flu, and it might be a, a parasite, you know, or it might be a mold exposure. So there are a couple of other things that you could play under germs. But I wanted to just let you know, these are the specific ones that I think are very, very helpful for this. So please let me know of your success or failures. Uh, you could send me a testimony just at my lindabamber at gmail.com. So um, 
I really appreciate you sticking with me. I know it was kind of hard to get uh, muted as we came on and that kind of stuff, but I um, hope that you enjoyed that particular information. So we'll see if we can open up our um, speaker or our uh, people on the webinar today, and I'll see if I can unmute you. And if anybody would like to comment or give a testimony, it would be just wonderful. I'm all open to that. So if you can unmute yourself, maybe one at a time, and we might start with, uh, uh, I'll kind of go across the top. You could try to raise your hand. I don't know if people know how to do that. Um, we'll see where we're at. Anybody want to make a comment or a testimony or? Go ahead, uh, see Debbie. Right, um, I wasn't able to get on last week, but I was just curious. Um, can you talk a little bit about the uh, uh, cancer? Way, sound waves? Um, yeah, um, I can, I'm going to do a whole workshop on that or an hour segment, but just quickly, basically, I felt very uncomfortable just advertising cancer, 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 you know, uh, I'm not in the medical field, I'm just a naturopathic um, certification, uh, but basically, if you go to the pathogen folder, so it's labeled pathogen, and then it has the ribbon symbol, and these are um, pathogens that I can prove from different studies that are cancer causing. So like Epstein-Barr virus is a cancer causing virus. So that's the main protection that I have on here that's labeled kind of connected with, with cancer. So you can play through all of that folder. And I've gotten quite a few testimonies of people that felt something when they played some of those ideas. So that's the one I have. Uh, you would also play immune support. That's a great one but there are frequencies out there for thousands of cancer problems. And so uh, this system is more self-care. It's not as deep into those ideas, but that'll get, give us a little bit of protection and get started. And there are three codes for cancer on there. I think it says cancer general one, cancer general two, and cancer general three. And again, that's just the idea. Like we say, everything runs in a band, just like parasites are in a band, viruses are in a band. So that was a band that might give you some protection. This is a protection mode. It's not necessarily saying it has anything to do with when somebody actually has cancer. It's not going to hurt you, but you're going to obviously be doing a lot more things. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Anybody else? Yeah, hi, Linda. This is Chris, Chris Berger. Hi, Chris. Good morning, um, and thank you. Um, I've had the Wave Watch for a couple of weeks now. And I pretty much uh, wear it and play it, uh, adding uh, 60 or 70 things to my favorites. Um, I, feel I feel very well, uh, but I do struggle with sinus problems ever since I've been five years old. So I, I do the sinus every morning. And um, just, I just wanted to tell you, overall, I'm very optimistic how well I feel, particularly since February is probably the worst month of the year for everybody, especially in the Northeast. Yep, definitely. Appreciate that. Anybody else, anything really specific? Virgil? Where? I can't hear you, Virgil. Virgil, I can't hear you. Okay, we'll go to Audrey. Virgil, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, I had uh, flu symptoms a couple times in January. Um, actually, like threw up, up. And I put the watch on cold and flu. And I have a couple of homeopathic remedies. And the combination of the two, it was gone in a pretty short time. So it, that's just fabulous for me. Um, I did have a question. You talked about the value of using lungs and veins. And I set it to lungs and I did that when I couldn't find veins except varicose veins. Um, what, where is that on there? There's a whole folder in um, pain and okay. it's right under nerves. And then there's just a okay, perfect. Idea. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. All right, anybody else? 
Just try. Can you hear me now? Yes. Where is the vagus nerve in the folders? Under what category in the book? It's under um, immune system. The very last one on immune system. And like I said, when I was doing up my little PowerPoint this morning, I forgot to type it on there and I was very irritated at myself, but it's under immune support or immune system on chronic. Very first, actually the very first column on the left-hand page. Okay, anybody else? Uh, Linda, it's Ellen. Yes. Um, I wanted to share that um, I had an abnormal mammogram this summer in June, and it was like a benign cyst. They wanted to watch, did an ultrasound. And um, I did get, so I know that I had like an estrogen overgrowth situation. So they gave me um, some progesterone shot. I had one in December. But anyway, I had a mammogram last week and it's gone. <laughs> and I did the, um, the breast uh, combo several times and the uh the one in, there's another women um you know like I did uterine I did you know several of these things and I probably did it at least three times I don't know but uh they were like it's gone it's were resolved they surprised were they surprised that I they didn't say they were surprised they oh. they were delighted delighted okay <laughs> celebrating with you yeah, they really were, and, it, and I have like a little brown spot, like where that was new. And they said that is often when it resolves, it comes out and it leaves a little mark like that. Like it, it was. Um, she said you could have never felt it. It impressed me because it was deep, very deep, like way in the back, and then it came all the way out. You know, oh, and I, I. Um. So, you know, I don't know, I, I could say, you know, who knows why, you know what I mean? Like we, but um, I had a sense before I even went in that it was gone, you know, that it was like not there mm -hmm. intuitive, uh, but I was so excited, you know, Perfect. they're like, well, come I, back or no ultrasound, you know? <laughs> yes. I've had six other testimonies on um, breast lumps really changing radically. And some of them said they couldn't even feel it at all after 30 minutes. And it was just 30 oh. minutes in my office. So, you know, if you've got time, you've got the wave watch and you can play it for a longer period of time, it could be um, very life-changing for women, you know? So you wanna play a lot of those different breast frequencies. You wanna play hormones, like you said, some of the, uh, you know, reproductive system, some of those <laughs> ideas, again, you're thinking through. And I have another, um, you know, workshop that I could do on that idea also. But thank you for okay. that feedback. All right, anybody else? Audrey, is your hand up again? Did you want to say something? Uh, no, it wasn't, Linda. Oh, oh okay. No, it wasn't. Any other any comments or um, people who would like to kind of give a testimony, anything that they've gotten some support with. Well, I think I might take this off a live on Facebook. We don't want to bore anybody, but I do want to um, 